Okay, I'm going to apologize up front. I am sitting in my chair, so I'm probably going to be reaching in front of you, and I don't, can you see that? I don't mean to, but it's just one of those days. So what I have in there, three slices of bacon. Now your points will depend on the bacon you use. This is the bacon I'm using, the Nieces. Best to bacon in the planet. Probably just a southern thing. I'm not sure you can get it anywhere else. I'm not sure how far reaching in the south it is, actually. I would buy this all the time, but when it came out, it's not been out too, too, too long. It's a little on the expensive side. But I was sitting here chopping it, and I got to thinking, all the bacon is expensive now. My husband bought it today. I don't know how much he paid for it. But when I sent him to the store to get my bacon that was messed up, that's what he got me because he knows it's good. So... That was another Valentine's Day present to me. <laughs> Some good bacon. Anyway, it's three slices chopped up. You want to cook it till it's almost done. The thing about this bacon is I scanned it. It's not in the app. You have to scan it and someone created it. Several people did. Three slices of this was four points. And three slices of the Oscar Mayer center cut bacon that I get was three points. So I don't think that point made a difference. So I'm saying that to say, when you build your recipe, you'll use your specific bacon. You'll use your specific meat too, because that we'll discuss that in a minute. So this is almost done. Now I took the liberty of going to hit. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, let me tell you, this recipe comes from a cookbook. Um, oh, it's laying right over there. Eat what you love. Eat what you love. That's what it's called. And they changed it around from a Rachel Ray recipe. And I'm changing it around from them. So this is a a, a, a hand-me-down recipe. And you know what? You're most likely going to change it from me. So that's just how we do. This is, instead of a green bell pepper, I bought those little, if you saw my grocery haul, I bought the little pack of mini peppers. This is just three yellow ones and a medium onion. So this is probably more like a small onion. It's what I had left in the refrigerator in my onion bowl. But I put it on here and chopped it up a little bit more fine. Because if y'all watched something I cooked the other day, I was telling you, when I chopped it, I just chopped it big because I just wasn't in the mood or something. Who knows? So we're just going to add that to the almost cooked bacon. And then to this, we're going to add, let's stir that around a little bit. Three to four cloves of garlic, and I am almost to the bottom of this, so that's probably about two. And then I'll add. Holly just cut Kyle's hair. He's doing job interviewing. Y'all better wish him luck because boy needs a job. <laughs> Listen, he's got a master's degree and let me tell you, smart as a whip and jobs are scarce. Just because you have a master's does not mean they're just out there waiting on you. He has looked out, out even countless um, applications he put in. We're not talking just, you know, fancy jobs. He's applied everywhere. So, that is, we'll just say that's four cloves of garlic. And it calls for two teaspoons of oregano, but I only want one. Because to me, oregano is kind of strong. And I think, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> So I'm just going to let this chill out until the veggies are soft, and then I will return. Okay, I let these go just a few minutes. The next thing we'll do is add our hamburger. I'm using the 8515 that I bought. This is what I'm saying. You'll, you'll change to 
you get your points down. You might even want to use turkey for zero points. So I'm going to give you the points. Uh, I'll put the recipe on my website. And I'll give you the points for 96%, which is what I used prior to this surgery diet, I guess we could say. And this is my step. What is this? Question. Test. How season on everything. So this is going to sit here until it's completely browned. And then I will um, take my turkey baster and pull out all the excess fat and juice. And after I've got that done, I'll come back and show you what goes in the rest of it. Okay, my hamburger's cooked. Mama, I'm going to tell you, my big old foot is in the way. <laughs> so if I bump the camera, I'm sorry. Now, I left this out here to show you. Use your turkey baster. I know I've showed you this before, but old peanut cans or coffee cans are the best. I mark it old grease, and I stick it in the freezer. That way you don't have it under the sink like I used to do. Stinking and molding and getting all nasty. Just keep it in the freezer. Add to it. Pop it back in the freezer. Once it's clean. Um, I was looking at self-clean on my <laughs> stove, that stove up there. And it made me say clean. Once it's full. It's frozen hard. Toss it. No mess. No oozing out in your can or nothing. So that is my today's tip. Now all we need to add to this. Is. I'm going to get to it. Hold on. Just one 8 ounce can of there we go. <laughs> tomato sauce. And I always just use the no salt added. Just personal preference. A can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. And if you watched my grocery haul, you know that I have never had those before. So I don't have a clue what they taste like. I bet they're good. I think, um, matter of fact, I know Denise over at Dish with D was making tuna putanesca. And she says it better than me because she's Italian. <laughs> and she used um, fire roasted tomatoes. And I was thinking, I'm going to use those too. But it was my first time, so I don't know what um, the difference is. I don't know if it'll be smoky. Then a teaspoon of whatever hot sauce you like. We're Texas Peak people down south. I think Louisiana are Frank's people. Now, before my taste buds went kaflooey, I could eat some Texas Peak. Loved it on my fish. I've told y'all before. Mama loved to go to the fish camp. But she needed her Texas Peak. And she needed her onions. So me and her would sit there. And Holly was little at the time. When we did most of our goings. Two teaspoons of Worcestershire. She would order us a bowl of onion. They'd bring a bowl of onion. We would sit there with our fish. And our onion and our Texas peat. And just act like we had sense. <laughs> <laughs> and Holly sat in the high chair eating lemons without flinching and those little captain's wafers and butter. You give her a, a couple packs of crackers and one of them little round things of butter, you know. Happy as can be. Okay, now this is all stirred in. We're just going to let it simmer for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to taste it and let you know. And all we do after that is serve it over spaghetti and sprinkle some cheese on top. So while this is simmering, I'm going to boil my spaghetti. Okay, so I went ahead and put it in here to measure it. To go ahead and do my math <laughs> before we got on camera. Turns out it's four cups, so we'll call it four servings. You can down it to six servings if you want to. 
If you do the hamburger like I told you, the 96, it's two points for four, two points for six servings, four points for four servings. And then count whatever pasta, whatever cheese you use. Now, let me tell you first, I tasted it and it was bland. So I added a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of chili powder. Much better. Much better. I will write that in the description. Now, uh, one cup is your serving, but we know I don't, I'm not required at this time to measure, so I'm just going to scoop me some out. You measure your cup out. Or like I say, if you want to do six servings, that would be, wouldn't that be two-thirds of a cup? Am I doing that right in my head? And then their recipe factors in a certain amount of cheese, but I don't think you need to do that. I think you just need to count the cheese that you put on your serving. So this cheese is the Trader Joe's Light Shredded Three Cheese Blend. I have it on here. A quarter cup is two points. So... Just whatever kind of cheese you use. Just count your points for it. There you have it. That is our cowboy spaghetti. Alright, I hope you enjoyed it.